This mini documentary or micro bio will be on Garrick Morgan, the masked hero. Born 1877, Kentucky, Ohio. Born son of a slave, Garrick Morgan, at a young age, didn't want to be subject to less and had a spirit that yearned for knowledge. So around eight, around 13 or 14, Morgan left home for Cincinnati, Ohio to look for working opportunities. Working as a laborer while he hired a tutor to teach him anything he could learn to make money. It seemed working a job and entrepreneurship is what he wanted to possess. And he mastered both starting with the Ellen Gross Company, working with sewing machines for years. Here he created and made his first patent in a friction clutch that keeps the right tightness in a drive belt in sewing machines, making them more productive at higher speeds, in turn making the company much more profitable. He then sold this to his owner, his boss, he then created a liquid helping the efficiency of sewing machine needles while in production. This liquid was so malleable, naturally he repurposed it as a hair care product that could straighten hair. He also created a hot comb as known as the decurling comb, as well as launched the G. A. Morgan Hair Refining Company. Here he produced an original black dye that. Uh, oh, here he produced an original black hair dye, and the curved tooth comb. Morgan's wife was a seamstress as well, so they opened a sewing machine repair shop company together around 1907 then expanding the company thinking laterally by incorporating tailoring titled the Morgan's Cut Rate Ladies Clothing Store. Not just an inventor and businessman, he also helped found the Cleveland Association of Colored Men. And in 1912, Morgan created the safety smoke hood or the gas mask that allowed wearers to last longer in harsher conditions than all other gas masks of the time. His mask had distinctly different had a diff, distinctly different makeup that just made it better than others overall. Two years later, Morgan developed the National Safety Device Company. Garrick Morgan, while in development of other safety devices, caught wind of a raging fire that no gas mask wearers were successful in saving remaining victims. So he rushes to the location wearing his own mask and with no history of firefighting and no hesitation, Morgan and his brother rushed into the burning building and recovered the last victim or victims. This event was witnessed and photographed and is proof in the public domain and widely known then as well. But the Carnegie Hero Fund awarded everyone involved in the rescue with medals, everyone except Morgan and his brother. Not being a reward-driven person, he stayed focused on developing safety devices, later producing and patenting the all-direction streetlight after being present at an automobile accident and going on to start his own newspaper not long after. Though at the time his heroic actions went unnoticed, he was made an honorary member of the International Association of Fire Engineers. Also, the blacks of the city of Cleveland did the most honorable thing and gave him a diamond and gold medal, paying their respects to him directly and thanking him for his actions. Morgan was an inventor, 
an innovator, and a masked hero. The masked hero, Garrick Morgan. For more videos like this and to suggest your preference of an entrepreneur, inventor, or high performer, just reach out to the, or leave a comment to advertise on videos like this. Reach out to the number in the description. And until next time, guys.